Hello, today I'm going to be telling you what I'm selling today, and we have got a Macintosh Color Classic I'm going to sell you. Uh, before I show you the machine, I want to explain what it is, why I built it, and why I'm selling it. The machine was not built for nostalgia purposes. I actually built this machine to service and work on classic Macintoshes. I needed a machine that would both run PowerPC and Motorola based. I could have had two machines, but then you got maintenance on two machines, and etc, etc, and considered building an LC575 with the same setup then you got a larger machine a big screen and I just didn't want to I didn't want to spend all that room and all that space and this was just a neater setup so I built this color classic to repair Motorola 040s and PowerPCs always had troubles trying to make OS floppies with PowerPC Macs and then go to over to a Motorola based Mac and work on it and it just seemed better if you were on a native machine to work with native stuff and this was the perfect combination of both so, there's the Color Classic itself that I'm selling you. Here's an Apple Daystar Power Pro, uh, 601 Power PC upgrade for the LC575 and the Performa boards. Unfortunately, I cooked this one. I used, like I said, this is not a machine that I use for nostalgia. I actually got quite a few hours on this thing. Uh, this gate chip right here is cooked right off. I put, I mean, it happens, so, but I'm going to send it along anyways, because, you know, might need a spare part, maybe a resistor gives up, or maybe you can repair this one, I never spent the time, I'm also including this 10.4 inch LCD TV monitor, I bought this because the dimensions of this screen matches this casing, it also has stereo sound built into it with amplifiers, and I decided if this monitor ever gives out, which one day it will give out, I would have a nice LCD, 12 volts, that I can modify in here, and I would retrofit the uh, buttons here on the front to this, and maybe add the three extra buttons you need, and have real stereo sound. Now the machine does have two speakers into it, but I never did solder in the extra stereo amplifier, because this would take just as much trouble. I'm also going to give you my gamepad, because of course... I did play video games on it. I mean, you might as well, right? I'm going to give you this keyboard. Take a good look at it. You can see this keyboard is worn and has dirt on it. And I never did like the old one-button mice, so you're getting a two-button mouse. Software is installed for the second button to work. And uh, I'm going to give you this CD-ROM drive put in this Bernoulli case as well. Uh, I don't recall exactly what speed this drive is, but I'm, I think it's at least a 6x or an 8x. It's, it's not a 3, if I recall. The threes were a little on the slow side because I actually ripped my DVDs off, you know, my CDs into the system. Now the machine is equipped with a Motorola 040, not an LC. It's got a full-blown Motorola in it. And 132 megs of RAM. One of them is a 128 meg, 72 pin SIM upgrade. So when you're in Motorola mode, the 040, it actually sees all the memory and it takes it a little while to count it all. So when you first turn it on, and it's in Motorola 040, activated, it's going to take a minute. Then theoretically it should light up and run. The machine is also equipped with a uh, Monster C SCSI to CF converter. It's got an extra fan in it to keep the power PC cool, a 10 base Ethernet card, and I maxed out the, the video memory. Is that the, I think that's the smaller chips, that's the video memory. I don't recall how much exactly that is. I think it's one meg, maybe two. I'm not 100% sure. But I had the parts, so I maxed it out. And of course, this being an old tube Trinitron, you're probably going to be seeing some flickering on this, uh, on this camera. There's nothing I can do about it. But the screen is clear. But And I will say... I'm starting to get a little bit of fuzz on the edges. The screen itself still seems to be very clear. It has been modified for high resolution, 640 by 480. I used both methods to do that so there was less strain on a single area of the components. Sorry about that. Had a customer come in. I had to go help him. And I've got macOS 8.1, macOS 7.6, and macOS 6.0 installed on this. If you boot Mac OS 6, you cannot have the power PC activated. If you do, it will not boot up. You'll have to get a boot disk out and, and then set it back to OS 7 or OS 8 so you can get it flipped back over. Uh, OS 6 is for Motorola based only. 
I got lots of goodies installed. Uh, the Mac OS 8.1 is the OS that I usually use to do tech work. I loaded 7.6 because it seems like my games ran better on it. And the battery on the board is dead. I used a standard 20 CR2032. I soldered it to a pigtail and stuck it in there. So you're going to have to put a battery in it if you want to keep it, if you want the time to keep. And we'll just do about this computer. And you'll see it's Mac OS 8.1 with 132 megs of RAM. clean the mouse and then you'll see in this nifty thing it says 601 power PC upgrade and you'll see right now it's turned off which means the machine is currently running in Motorola based in fact it uh, had some errors booting up because some of the stuff that's installed in Mac OS 8 requires a power PC now I've installed OS 8 for both Motorola and power PC so it's, it's a 68040 at 33 megahertz, standard run-of-the-mill stuff, and it allows me to play the older games, and if I click on Game CF, because I did name everything Compact Flash, got them in nice and alphabetical order, and you'll find games in here that only run on Motorola based. And then I got lots of applications, same ordeal, on the stuff drive, I got lots of stuff on here. Some of this is Motorola based, some of it is... Power PC based and a temporary drive because I couldn't partition it no more, so I just had some, I had an extra gig left over. So let's turn on the Power PC and I am going to boot into oh, oh come on, and I am going to boot into Mac OS 7. real quick we're gonna ask is the person watching this video going to oh I have the magic eight ball installed you can ask it questions and it'll answer them it's pretty cool now Mac OS 7 however 7.6 will boot up quite fast I have it pretty well stripped out just so I can play my games I mean if you're gonna have a tech machine gotta have games right Oh, that could use a little oil. Tells you how much I've used it. I also have RAM doubler installed. Of course, the time and date's not set. Now, when the Power PC is activated, the BIOS or firmware on Power PC can only see 32 megs, so it only sees all as much memory as 36 megs. So you don't get the full 132 megs with the Power PC activated. Let's see here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to mount a file. And go to my stuff drive, and I should have some images on here. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, we got some Diablo. Got Diablo, the CD image mounted for Diablo. Diablo. I played a lot of. Di I played some Diablo on this. Diablo and Warcraft. And what is the other one? Missed. Missed. Yeah, look at those sweet graphics on this super crispy 10 inch screen. It really is pretty sharp on a small screen. buy this machine you even get my character and that's part of the reason why I screwed this could have been done better but I never planned on selling the machine of course I've had it for probably the better part of 15 years too 
But the, the, the speaker that was built into it was just terrible. These are nice and loud. But due to the age of the machine, it is sold as is. It does work, but I can't guarantee how long it will work. I've had a lot of, I put a lot of hours on it. I did do some pretty hefty bulletproofing with it with the solid state hard drive and having the extra parts for when this screen finally poops out on me and I can't repair it. Um, it's sold as is, so you buy it, it's yours. Hopefully we'll put a bunch of insurance on it because you can clearly see that it's working and what kind of condition it is in this video. So if it shows up to you and the side of it is smashed in and cracked, then it, we're going to get our insurance money. That's what we're going to do. Get you paid back. As far as the back goes, I don't have a back plate to fit this. Plus, you don't want to put one on here anyways. There's an extra fan up here that I had to put in. That's why the speaker is not there anymore. To keep the power PC board cool. There's not enough airflow in the system to cool that. Otherwise, you'll cook it. Uh, you get this CD-ROM drive, like I stated. There is some discoloration in the unit. It hasn't been sitting in the dark closed up in a warehouse it's been used I haven't used it mm, in probably the better part of five years for anything important I did fire it up a couple of months ago and played some Warcraft on it because I was bored get the gamepad like I stated there's not much else to the machine I mean you uh, it's loaded with lots of software and ready to go just it's I've made it to be used thank you